Maybe you should know that my mama don't like you and she likes everyone. And I'd never like to admit that I was wrong. And I've been so caught up in my job. Shame on shame on shame on me. Hindi ko na alam ang mga lyrics kaya mo na nahimik lang ako. Hey guys, this video is going to be this copper sparkle New Year's makeup tutorial. It's the New Year. I'm so excited for 2016. It's gonna be so good. Hopefully, I've, I'm truly hoping that it's gonna be a good year for us, for all of us as a circle. I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh my god, I'm so scared right now. It will be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. So guys, I'm filming a tutorial for you guys today and I'm kind of growing my facial hair out. I know it looks like a little bit like bum fluff right now. I'm so scared to be filming this tutorial for you guys because... I've got facial hair and I want to film this tutorial for you guys before the New Year's. I asked my mates Sabrina from Love, Laugh and Makeup and Emily, my mate here at uni, if I should do the makeup tutorial and they said that I should keep my beard and do the tutorial. So today I'm going to be doing a Manny MUA and I'm just going to go and film this look even though I've got a beard. It's fine. Everything's going to be fine. I'm so scared, but it's going to be fine. I already applied my Nivea Men Sensitive Aftershave Balm as a primer and moisturizer and then I'll be putting on foundation. Oh my god, I'm literally like so scared and nervous. I hope that you all are fine with me doing this. I'm gonna be using the Kiko Unlimited foundation. I'm in the shade Warm Beige 110. Oh yeah, I've got long hair guys. Do you like it? I forgot to mention, I thought, I thought I forgot to mention something. What it is is I dyed some extensions, some blonde extensions to match my hair. And now I've got longer hair. And since it's extensions, I have the option of putting it in and taking them out any time that I want. I don't know, I just want to grow my facial hair for a while, just see how it looks. I've never really had the chance to do that, just because I've always had to shave it off again for filming videos. Okay guys, for my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Ella Masca Precision Brow Gel instead. This is my fave. I love it. I'm using the 317 brush from Zoeva to carve out the brows. I'm going to use my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creme de Nude to carve out the brows and also I'm going to apply this as an eyeshadow base. And a lot of you guys were saying if this was still available and yeah, I checked Meadow Hall today with one of my best friends and um, Creme de Nude, they had quite a few of this. So if you want a Max Soft Oak Paint Pot dupe, try the Maybelline. Guys, how was Christmas? I hope you had a good, good Christmas. I had a lovely time back home. It was so good and it was so nice to like be with my family again and it's been a while since I was with my family because of university and I was just like so stressed out with uni so it was like nice and refreshing to have like a break. I 100% needed that, like seriously I needed that break because it's honestly been so refreshing. I'm back in my flat for a couple of days for work and I don't know if I'm going home yet or not but hopefully I will for New Year's Eve. So this is my Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. I love it so much. I recently filled up my two eyeshadow palettes. If you want to see both of them, then let me know. But this is all my Makeup Geek shadows. I'm in love with them. First eyeshadow that I'm going to be using is from the new Makeup Geek matte eyeshadow range. And this is in the shade Mirage. And I'm just applying that onto the crease and also above. So I'm setting my crease so that any thing that goes on top will blend a little bit better. And then I'm going to be using Morocco as a transitional colour. This is a bright, bright orange. I love bright, burnt oranges. I'm applying it right into the inner corner as well. I think it looks super nice in the inner corners. So what did you guys get for Christmas? Let me know down below. I'm not going to be doing a video dedicated to what I got for Christmas just because my Christmas presents were just... I didn't ask for anything. I've already mentioned in a video that I asked for pyjamas, so that's what I got. I got pyjamas, I got a few candles, aftershave and perfume and like bath sets with like shower gel and stuff like that. The usual stuff. Um, I was happy with what I got. That's what I got for Christmas. 
and I'm happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. I've got all the things that I need. And then I'm going to be using another new shade from Makeup Geek. This is called Cherry Cola. And I'm going to be deepening up the inner crease. And then I'm going to be applying it to the outer crease as well. So I'm going to be creating that halo. I love a halo smokey eye. So nice. And then after that I'm going to be using a new product. This is the Kiko Cream Crush Eyeshadow. And this is in number 5. This is always sold out in Kiko. But look at this colour. It's like a champagne. I would recommend using your fingers with this shadow but... Oh my god. Can you see this? So guys, I'm just going in with my liquid liner. This is the NYC one, my holy grail. Because I can't stop using this product, I'm going to be using more of the Kiko Cream Crush and just apply that to the inner corner. I was just going to leave that eyeshadow work on its own because I think it looks banging like that and if you want it like that then just keep it like that. But it's New Year's Eve so I'm going to be going in with the glitter because it's New Year's Eve. Um, so I'm going to be using my Glam Crystals collection Dazzling Gel Liner in Retro Chic which is this copper colour and then I'm going to be applying Stargaze It Glitter in copper over the top. And then after I've evened everything out, I am just going to go in with my Maybelline Color Tattoo in Creme de Nude again. And then I'm just going to pop it into the waterline. This, honestly, it looks so, so nice. Honestly, I think this is so nice as a waterliner. It's going to go in with my Alice Fast Mascara. I'm just going to pop these lashes on and then I'm going to come back. I've got my lashes on now and I've got glitter all over my face so what you do to fix that is I'm just going to get this spoolie brush and I'm just going to try and gently brush off the glitter off my face and I'm not going to grab every single one because that's just going to be impossible but I'll try to grab as much as I can. For concealer I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in yellow because I'm yellow and I'm just going to whack a ton of this on. I don't know, I'm just so looking forward to the new year and I think it's going to bring such great things for us, like hopefully. Like I'm wishing for the best. I'm going to continue to work hard in the new year. I'm just really excited, I don't know. And then to contour, I'm going to be using my beautiful bronze by LA Girl. And they started to bring some out in some shops in the UK. You can get them from beauty supply stores, just contouring in the usual places. I'm going to blend this in with my Real Technique sponge, the one that I used from before. This face is being beat. Even with this beard, I'm killing it. I'm just going to set and bake with my Fashion 21 powder. And I'm just going to set under the eyes. Baking wise, the only thing I can bake is makeup. I can't bake anything else. I'm so useless in the kitchen. It's honestly like, it's the contour that makes everything and I just get so much life when I contour because it's like when everything goes together. Cooking makes me happy. Not real cooking. This kind of cooking. So I'm not going to be applying blush today. I'm just going to go in with my highlight and the highlight that I've been loving recently. If you can get your hands on it, Get it, girl. This is Kiko Water Eyeshadow in 208. It's amazing. You uh, basically need this in your life because it's bomb. Can you see that? Like, I know you can see that, girl. Get to your Kiko if you've got one. Get it online if you have to. They're sold out everywhere. So if you can get your hands on it, grab like four. It's amazing. Gotta get that nose highlight. I know this sounds a little bit crazy, but I think I want to use the eyeshadow as a highlight as well. This is going to be crazy. Let's see how this goes, because I've never tried this. This is for all the extra girls and boys who want too much highlight. I love too much. I'm team too much. This highlight is a lot. I like it. Okay guys, so I was gonna do a pale nude, but I think I'm gonna do a terracotta brick color. So I'm gonna be using my Kiko Smart Lip Pencil in 704. I would zoom you in guys, so that you can see a little bit clearer, but 
facial hair up close doesn't look too nice. So I'ma save you the zooming in. And then over top, I'm just going to go in with my Coloured Rain in 24-7. This is a matte liquid lipstick. Comment down below what you guys are doing for New Year's Eve because I want to know what makeup are you going to be wearing on New Year's Eve? If it's this makeup, then you should tag me on Instagram. And if it's not this makeup look, then you should still tag me on Instagram because I want to see what you guys look like for New Year's Eve. This is the final look and I'm still really nervous about me filming with a beard. I would love this look without a beard. I think it would look really cute. And guys, I cannot get over this glow. Like, this glow is just giving me so much life. At this point, I'm just glowing from the ocean and it's a lot for me to handle. Like, some of you guys might think, oh my god, that's too much highlight, but I like too much. Have a happy new year, guys. So exciting. 2016 is going to be a great year. Thank you so much for 2015. It was so good. We're nearly in 90,000 subscribers. We're nearly in 100 subscribers. 100 subscribers? 100,000 subscribers! I'm so excited! It's gonna be so good for us and I'm so excited and I've got so much planned and you guys are so amazing to me and I love you from the bottom of my heart. Like, you guys are so good to me and I love talking to you guys on Twitter and Instagram. If you like the video, then please give this video a like and if you like me, then please go ahead and subscribe. Bye guys! And I never lied to admit that I was wrong And I've been... And I've... <laughs>